Hey y'all, Steve Peterson with Infinity Investments and welcome to our channel where we talk all things commercial investment real estate and to the, in today's video. We're going to be talking a little bit more uh, business than, than real estate. We're in a bit of a shifting economy, change in real estate market, there's challenges all over the place, right? And my, I, you know, I started my company in November 2009 in the right in the smack dab of the Great Recession, right? And there were some things that I learned during that time that I wanted to share with y'all just to help motivate you, inspire you, but, but really, you know, maybe give a little bit more direction about how to navigate through a marketplace like this, all right? So there's three key things that if you're running a business, if you're in a real estate business, if you're an investor, you know, if you're anyone that's out running an organization, if you're anyone that's out there responsible from a leadership standpoint and you eat what you kill, so to speak, meaning that you don't, you don't bring in nothing home unless you produce, there's three things that I think you need to take into consideration to help you not only survive, but to thrive during these times. Number one, it's real basic. It's not rocket science. It's basically do more, all right? In our business, the real estate business, investment business, and brokerage business, it, you know, it all starts with generating leads, incoming business, right? So whatever business you are in, no matter if you're in real estate, or whatever you're doing, you got to keep those leads coming in. And, and, and whatever it is that you do to generate those leads, you right now, we got to do more of it, right? So give you an example. Some, some of the things that we do here at Infinity Investments are to generate leads, videos like this, ads, cold calls, warm calls, emails. We send direct mail out. We do a lot of networking. We do seminars. We do webinars. We do trade shows. All of these things are designed to bring in clients, all right? So we got to do a little bit more of that right now. Like for me, I make calls, whether they're cold calls or follow-up calls every single day. I make more follow-up calls now at, my, at this point in my career than I do cold calls, right? I'm following up on things. I'm following up on leads that came in from our advertising. Uh, I, it, you know, 30 calls a day used to be a good day for me. In this period of time, I'm going 40 to 50. Right, because I just got to do more. Yeah, I'm, I'm making all those calls. My goal is to have between 20 to 30 conversations and book. It used to be three appointments, during, you know, a day. If I book three appointments in a day, I'm doing good. Now, I got to book five appointments. In order for me to book five appointments, I got to have more calls. You know, you, you know what I mean? You you got to do more. Right. My goal was to have at least two appointments with either buyers, sellers, or investors every day. Now my goal is three to four appointments every single day. All right, um, just you gotta do more. That's the first principle. I know nobody wants to hear that, right? Um, we all want to do. We want to make more money with doing less work, right? That's the that's the that's that's the ideal situation. But this right now ain't an ideal situation. So this is called do what you gotta do time. So when it's this time, number one point, you gotta do more. You define what that more is for your business, right? Everybody's got a different business. Every industry is a little bit different. We got to do a little bit more to produce the business. Number one. Number two, got to get better. You got to get better. I know everybody wants a magic bullet. Everybody wants the magic pill. Everybody wants the, 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 the no work process, no work solution to getting this thing done. But you know, at the end of the day, we got to get better. And I don't care if you're a real estate broker, real estate agent, investor, if you're a CEO, if you're a small business, if you run a nonprofit, it, hey, if you're a manager at your office, if you're just a regular employee, wherever you work at, right? You gotta get better. You gotta, because in getting better, what happens is this, we become more valuable to the marketplace, right? And when things tighten up, like they're tightening up right now, hey, you know what? I would love if the Fed dropped the interest rates and the mortgage rates went to 3% again tomorrow. That would be fantastic. I don't think it's gonna happen. Therefore, Right? They may drop them a little bit, but they're not going back to 3% no time soon. So we got to be prepared for that. Right? And the way you do that is you bring more value to the marketplace. And that's just simply by you getting better. Also, for businesses out there, you personally have to get better right? as the leader. You got to train your people to get better. What we do at Affinity Investments, every Monday at 12 o'clock, we have a role playing session where we go over our scripts, our cold calling scripts. We go over our follow-up calling scripts. 
we go over, we role play potential negotiations between buyer, seller, agents, you know what I mean? So we can master our conversations, all right? Friday, we have our sales meeting where we do one, a training uh, about what's going on and we have accountability, right? We wanna see what, what people, the agent's production is. So you got to get better as the leader of the business, but then you also have to make sure that your people are getting better. And then the, the, the next thing is that your business itself is getting better. And what I mean by that particularly is that your processes, the systems you use to run your business, and everybody has one, whether you're a solo entrepreneur or a Fortune 500 company, we got pro everybody got a process. Some, some processes are better than others, right? So when I went through this program, 10,000 Small Businesses from Goldman Sachs, we learned about these things called process maps. And it's basically just a flow chart of how you do anything within your business. So now is a good time to figure out how you can refine that. And in doing so, you also might be able to figure out how you can save some money, right? And so when we say about getting better, we gotta improve ourselves, we gotta improve our teams, we gotta improve our processes, right? And if we're in that process, we actually might also find some ways where we can save money, right? You don't wanna take away from your budget the things that are gonna generate income, but you do wanna take away the things from your budget that are dead weight, that are not producing income and are not absolutely vital. And if you improve your processes, you can find those things, all right? Last thing is this, and it's twofold. Expand your network and build quality relationships. So it's one thing, right? Expand your network, but you don't want to just expand your network with random people, right? And, you know, I'm not saying don't have fun, don't meet people, but have some strategic alliances. People in the industry that you, where you guys are, you have a synergistic relationship, right? Uh, buyer, except for us in, real, in our business, buyer, sellers, and investors in real estate, right? We want to develop those relationships. We want to expand our network by conti continually going out and networking at networking events, holding events, connecting with people, you know, constantly everywhere we go, asking people what they do, what, how, what they're involved in, how we can connect, but also developing stronger bonds with the people within our network and the new people we bring into that. So it's expand your network, number one. But within that also develop strong relationships. When I started my company in November 09, and I'm not, we don't have a huge company, but we, we started in a horrible time, we thrived through it and we grew through it, right? I, what allowed me to do that in a very crazy period of the world was that I had a couple of really key relationships and we nurtured those relationships and we built those relationships and we were able to make a lot of money in a bad time. So those three things, get, you know, uh, do more, get better, expand your, your uh, uh, network and build quality relationships. That's going to help you to win and not only survive in this in the time, but to thrive in it. I hope this helps. If it does, like, subscribe, share to the next video. Deuces.